I don't think I've ever exposed myself like this on social media, but apparently people like to watch people clean their rooms and that is exactly what we're gonna do today. <laughs> What is up you guys? I am Anna. I'm Latina. If you're new here, si tú también eres Latino o Latina, déjame saber en los comentarios de dónde me estás viendo. Today we're popping my room cleaning cherry on YouTube. You can obviously see this place needs help badly, but I do want to say that we're not just cleaning. I'm also doing a closet clean out. I know you guys also love to see closet clean outs. Um, so yeah, let's see how long this takes. This is probably going to be a nightmare. Let's get into it. Oh my god, I think I killed my plant. The way I'm gonna tackle this is put things into categories, so shoes, pants, sweaters, purses, and once I have them separated, I know where they go, but I'm gonna have to go through my closet and get rid of, like I know there's a ton of sweaters I don't wear at all. I've been looking for this bra for two weeks now. It was in my room, of course. If you are Hispanic, you know that going home for the holidays includes having encaritos for everyone, meaning just bringing a bunch of shit in your suitcase for others. My dad actually sent me on a mission to the outlets because he just wanted some stuff. And while I was there, I bought some things that I wanted to show you. So from H&M, I got these pants, really flowy. I want to wear them with some high top Converse, Vans, Nike, something very tomboy to contrast the formality of these pants and just a knit sweater. I got this top that I love. I got this from Lucky Brand. A little ACDC. Oh my gosh, I found a dupe for the Levi's ribcage that are like $98. And I found the perfect dupe at H&M. I'll link this if I find it in the description box. And then from Levi's, got this other really cool pair. It's like a straight leg. It looks wide, but when you put it on, it actually doesn't, which is surprising. And then I have two sweaters left. Both are from Forever 21. I fell in love with this one. It's so cute. You probably have seen that prints and crazy colors are trendy right now. Purchase is this one with a pear pattern. I think out of everything that I purchased, this might have been my favorite item. It's gonna look so freaking cool, like even with jeans. Oh, wait, you got stuck to my necklace. I think it's gonna look really cool with some denim, white t-shirt, bunch of jewelry. Yeah, that's what I got recently. I also got this really cool hoodie. I don't even remember what store I got it from. Maybe Zoomies, something like that. Um, it's a men's one, but how cute is it? Very oversized. We finally got a clear floor. This is, I know it looks messy, but it's categorized pants, sweaters, coats, but this is not everything I have to put away. Let me show you. Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? I have been using my guest room as a second closet. <sighs> Another pile to go through. Oh my god! I've been looking for this shirt for months now. It is the perfect black tee. Crop, boxy, it has a pocket. It was gifted by the brand for days. Like F-O-R days. That went a lot faster than I imagined. Now it's time to clean the closet. I'm gonna start with pants. Um, This is really hard for me to do. I'm gonna bring you closer. Why do you have to be all the way over there? I'm gonna tell you something that I haven't really shared or said out loud, but I can say that I finally made peace with it. And it is my weight. I fluctuate weight a lot. And I feel like my problem with weight started when I wanted to lose weight for my wedding and I got down to like a really, really small size. So I had to buy new clothes. And after that, like it was always up and down with my weight. I realized it's not sustainable 
not like that it's not sustainable, but like I just didn't want to stay that thin. That would mean doing crazy diets, no carb, no sugar, and to me, that's not life. I love to treat myself. I realized that if I want to get to a comfortable point with my body, it's going to be a size bigger than what it was. So there's a lot of pants down here that I've been holding on to. I thought I was going to lose the weight, and even when I purchased pants, I would get them a size smaller, like the size I was when I was my smallest, to motivate me to fit into them. And honestly, I don't think I want to fit in them again because that would mean restricting myself in a very extreme way and I don't want to do that so I am going to go through these pants <sighs> this is painful because I want to part ways with them they're they're not going to fit a size 2 like I am not a size 2 anymore it's like accepting this new face in my life it needs to be done because out of all these pants I only wear two because they're the only ones that fit me so the rest need to go these are some pants that were gifted by Aritzia best jeans ever there's one here that literally has tags it's brand new I'm probably gonna take it above like exchange these are the best jeans if you ever want a good one it's called the Johnny high-rise loose they fit true to size but I'm just not this size anymore there is only one pair that I'm gonna keep that no longer fits me and it's this pair of vintage Levi. This fit me loose when I was at my smallest. These are my favorite jeans ever. So I'm gonna hold on to these. So I'll give myself honestly probably another six months. And if they don't fit, I might have to leave them but they are the most amazing pair of vintage Levi's I've ever gotten. We're gonna have to kick all you out because I have another rack to go through, but most likely most of them are gonna go as well because they're too small for me. Is it gonna scare you? Is that fine? I can move you if you want. Okay. Remember when I say there's one pair that I'm super excited to part ways with? I lied, there's two. Just look at the back of these. They are the most stunning, Vintage Levi's. So freaking cute. <sighs> so sad. Once you find the perfect vintage jean, there's nothing like it. Both jean shelves have been emptied. That's the damage. We're getting rid of all that and we're keeping that. So about a half, maybe a little bit less than half. Now that I've fixed the jean situation, I'm gonna grab the ones that I folded and the ones that I'm keeping into these. I guess it's considered an early dinner, it's four. I love this ramen and I love putting lime in it. It's totally a Mexican thing, putting lime in your cup of noodles but especially this one because it's spicy, it's so good. If you get a chance, try this drink. So freaking good. Out of all those CBD ham-ish drinks, about like 99% of them honestly tastes like shit. This one doesn't, it's so good. The next thing will be getting rid of some of these sweaters. So I'm gonna bring them all out, whatever I do keep, plus the ones that I folded are gonna go back in. So let's do this. <laughs> that I actually wear. Jackets. This is some of my jackets. I have coats in the closet. A lot of them I don't wear. This is a really cute jacket from Who What Wear and what I like about it is that it's bomber jacket style but it's leather and I have nothing like it. I also have this one from Nasty Gal. It's so cute. It's so pretty but honestly it's not my style. It's one of those pieces that is cute to look at and I got it and I was doing a partnership with them. I wanted to get a really cool statement piece but it's not really my style. I haven't worn it at all ever since we took that picture so that's gonna go this one i just got from princess polly if you watch my princess polly call i still don't know if i'm gonna wear this so i'm gonna hold on to it and maybe assess in a few months this one over here is a blazer and if there's anything you should know about me is that i do not look good in a blazer like trust me this coat was one of my favorites for years but i got a better version that fits me way better gonna get rid of that one this little fuzzy jacket has officially been replaced by this one that's a yin yang jacket way cuter than this one so i'm gonna get rid of that one
coats are done, pants are done, sweaters are done. The one thing left is this little section, which is a little bit of a shit show. This is actually my vision board. I do not want to have it there. It's not very aesthetic to look at, but I have the perfect corner for it. It's going to be over here. This is where I get ready every morning. This tray is just full of shit I don't need. When I did my office remodel, like the first video, I went for this very sleek, modern, fancy vibe. And as you can tell, I'm not into that anymore. These... I'm probably just gonna get rid of. There's this frame. I recently got it from the thrift store and I think it will look super cute. Ooh, the perfect size. Hell yeah. It will look so cute in here. Let me get the perfumes. BRB. Ah! I almost fell. I'm okay. I love perfumes. I love smelling good. One of my goals one day is to come out with a perfume and another one. So I'm gonna put them over here. We are going to tackle one of my biggest fears, which is not only this closet, but the top of this closet. When we moved into this house, which is show shit up there, brought some trash bags because this is all gonna be stuff that I'm gonna be donating most likely. There's pillows, sheets. I have my hats up there too. What is this? Oh my gosh, so cute. I forgot I had this. Yeah, see, this is why I need to organize this. I have all my hats on my beanies and I need to be able to see them. So let's get started. I've been looking for this label maker for a year literally last time i used it was last christmas for gifts and put their names on it this past year we're like where the heck is my label maker it's here the things you find when you clean your room anybody remember this trend <gasps> the gucci belt i asked for this as my college graduation present i mean i wore the heck out of it that one summer but other than that it's been stored in that bag duffel bag is my mom's from the 90s for so long i try to hold on to it the truth is that it's honestly a piece of crap it's falling apart as much as i love the print look how cute it is i this is not functional so i need to let go so here's the final result i basically have nothing up there just these are my hats so i have my beanies and over here i have some purses that cannot fit on my purse rack so now let's go into this i kind of have my closet by category so t-shirts and then blouses and i already know there's a few things here that i really don't wear this is an h&m top that i loved and it was super cute but it opens so low on the armpits i don't know why they did that this t-shirt you guys probably might have seen me thrifting it I haven't worn it much this vest i feel like sweater vests are not my thing anymore yeah i have this top from princess polly that i never wore because again i was trying something that's not really me a crop top i don't think you'll ever catch me in one not really my style so i don't know why i keep buying those things This is one of my favorites. I might wear it this year for Christmas. I think I will. So pretty. This top was one of my favorite for years and years and years. But I had it for a while and I'm honestly kind of just sick of it. Like three years and I've worn it a lot. So it's time for someone else to get it. I don't think I'll ever wear this one. not expecting getting rid of this many tops for my closet but 
I love that for me. I can't believe how close we are to being done. Check this out. This is my current couch situation. The clothes that I'm keeping are somewhere underneath this pile. Oh my God, I'm getting rid of so many. Starting the new year fresh, getting rid of clutter. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we made it to the last part of my room cleaning video. This is the last thing I have to clean and organize. It is where I display my nicer bags. I don't want it to look this messy, so I'm gonna work on this. My memory card is about to be full. I have a few minutes left of recording. So I'm gonna do the boring part now, which is pack this into a suitcase and all that. And let's do the room reveal tomorrow because the lighting right now is horrible. We don't like her. I'll see you guys tomorrow to show you the final reveal. Good morning and hello friends. I just finished doing the final touches. I ended up switching a few things off camera that aligned with my 2022 yeah i keep saying 2021 for some reason it just aligns with habits that i want to start doing in the new year also i totally should have cleaned this thing it's so dirty so let me show you what i did that little thing over there is ollie you know i could move it to make it look aesthetic but he looks so cozy and i don't want to mess with them i guess this kind of is also an office tour i have this little side table the couch is finally all clean no clothes on it love how colorful the pillows are this is a thing that i changed this is my old coffee table i had over here my purse rack one of the things i want to do in the new year is sit down and meditate every single morning and i know i'm only going to do it if i have a cute meditation corner which i kind of always wanted to have and that is it so i have my crystals palo santo flowers incense we finally have an organized and clean little nook i have all of my perfumes here if i get to see every single one of them a mirror because like i said this is where i sit down to do my makeup necklaces and that frame that you saw. I'm not gonna go into those because those are really messy. Let me give you a sneak peek. Yeah, this is my makeup collection. Maybe, maybe we'll clean it for another video. I don't know. Let me know if you'll be interested in that. My sweaters, my coat, pants, and I don't know if you noticed this little guy right here, but this is where my purse rack ended up being. It's really cute. It's the perfect corner. Like, it fits just right over there. Maybe eventually, I'm thinking about getting shelves over here. I don't know if I want clear shelves, white shelves, but I think my purses over there will look so cute. But for now, we have them in this little corner. That's also my vision board for my goals for social media and YouTube community, Latinas, us, you know. I have big, big plans and big manifestations for us. I can't believe we're here, but I managed to freaking clean my room. It's probably not gonna last long. Happy New Year. Also, oh my gosh, thank you so much. We reached 10K. I am so, so, so happy. It just feels amazing to see all that hard work pay off i have a video coming up pretty pretty soon where i promised you guys a 10k giveaway i also wanted to give you a little live update it's been a few weeks since my last upload so i just want to explain where i've been my plans for the new year the only thing left to say is thank you guys so much for sticking around for all of 2021 that's all if you guys have any suggestions of content or stuff you want to see in the new year let me know in the comments below i'm always always reading your comments thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye